Hey guys, today we're going to be doing some fire rating tests on three different materials. Cob, hemp clay, and hempcrete. And also a small piece of hemp bat insulation. So all the fire tests did as I expected. The cob definitely resisted flame the best. All it did was burn the uh, straw fiber that the flame was able to get to. There's no actual damage to the cob itself. Now some people have told me if a cob house were to have um, a fire inside of it and the house was totally engulfed in flames. The cob would actually turn more into like a fire and brick material. It could potentially lose some of its thermal mass ability, but the cob itself is not going to burn and burn down or disintegrate. Actually, several living examples of this have happened recently. Um, bushfires, I think in New Zealand it was. Um, all the wood in the cob homes 
obviously burned, but the cob walls remained at the end. They were the only part of the structure still standing. So the uh, hemp shiv clay, pretty much the same as straw clay. This did really well, actually better than I thought. Um, one reason I really like straw clay more than just straw bale is that clay really protects the fibers from the flame. If this was just hemp shiv without that clay fiber, uh, without that clay um, clay slip, I mean, around all the fibers, I think it would have all caught flame at least a lot faster. And the hemp crete did really well, uh, pretty much what I expected too. Um, really no damage. I mean, it barely even got anything inside of here. I mean, you'd have to have that flame. I mean, look at that. It was just all surface. You'd really have to have that flame against it for a long, long time to really uh, do any serious damage. I don't see how you could have this engulfed in flame and just disintegrate in the fire. Now the uh, hemp bat insulation, uh, this was interesting. You'll see it's still eating away at it. Um, this didn't burn as fast as I thought it would, which is good. And I'd like to uh, maybe one day compare the rate of burning of this compared to a regular fiberglass insulation. Um, this is supposed to be flame resistant. Doesn't mean it's fireproof, but um, I can still see some benefits as far as its flame resistance goes. Uh, really great insulation, this hemp bat insulation. I love this stuff from uh, Hempitecture. That's where I got this. Uh, but overall, a really interesting test. Nothing that I didn't um, suspect would happen, but it was just good to do for myself. Um, you know, I have total confidence in the cob. It's not going to burn. But uh, especially the hemp shift clay or the straw clay, uh, this was really interesting to see. And then this was interesting to see as well. The uh, hempcrete was another pretty obvious one that I knew it wouldn't burn. So I hope you guys uh, found this video and this test interesting. Click like and subscribe for more videos on these topics. And I'll see you in the next one.